hi guys so welcome to our home finally we're going to be in the kitchen tour but of course before we get into that this is obviously the entrance of our home so i'll just you know show you guys what we've got and why we've got things so this is um a frame that we got and a picture of a flower obviously and it's basically the first thing you see when you enter our home i really like this piece i chose it and it says hakuna matata no worries so basically when you come into the house forget all your worries leave them all outside and just enter you know the house and be happy and um, if you walk in we've got a nice mirror here and we really love this piece because um, this is quite a small space but because of the mirror it makes things look so much larger so you know it just frames the entire area really well and of course if you're in a rush you're going out you can just check yourself real quick and you know go about your day and that's pretty much that. We obviously also painted the area white. It used to be brown and we thought white would be a really nice colour because as you know white makes any space look a lot larger and of course it makes it look cleaner as well and it just follows the theme of the entire house as we'll go into the kitchen you'll see. So without further ado let's go. Before I go further if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up and of course if you haven't already make sure you check out the remodeling video right here. You subscribing motivates us to do more videos. So so do subscribe right now anyway back to the kitchen so we decided to go for white um, this was a big deal for myself and Corey because white obviously lets in light so this is our two pantry doors where we put all our dry foods within the pantry we have our electric meter enclosed we made use of the space by putting our dry foods here cereals wheats and grains plus our teas and coffees we got these grey curver baskets from the range, a UK homeware store, and this makes organising our foods easy and practical without too much fuss. Um, we went for shaker, and shaker just basically means, you know, these panels sort of dip in, and then the outside panels dip out. Don't know if you can see that. And we went for glossy effect. This was Corey's number one thing. He really wanted a glossy effect. He didn't want it to be matte, and it also links in with the floor. You know, the Calcutta porcelain style floor, flooring, and Corey wanted this you know feature like you know he really really wanted this and it was a brave move on his behalf because who goes for white like white is such a major deal especially in the kitchen but as you can see it all ties in beautifully so anyway back onto the units we went for a brass bar this handle we didn't actually get it from the where we got the kitchen from we ordered this specifically from another company because the company we made the units from didn't have them so that's what we did um, this is an open top unit and this is where we keep all our blenders and toasters because having them out just doesn't look very nice i'm quite short so i have to tiptoe to get to this but for corey this is a breeze we also you know wanted a combination of top units as well as floor units because it just looks a lot nicer so again these just opened up quite nicely and we just put all our dry foods in there this countertop is one of my favorite features of the kitchen um, if you get closer it sparkles so it's like a glittery effect so of course i'm a girl i love glitter koi was so against this but i won him over eventually and it's it's a nice smooth finish we didn't want to go for wood our last kitchen was wood and we were really trying to go like stay right clear away from the wooden effect so with our splashback tiles, we made sure to go for white again. Um, again, it links in with the flooring. As you can see, the grout, um, that's basically the in between the tiles. It's grey and it just links in nicely with the Calcutta tiling. Um, the splashback tiles, we went for metro style effect. And it's basically just, you know, tiles being, you know, straight. We didn't go for asymmetrical because we just thought the straight, the straight look just, you know, keeps it simple, keep, keeps it clean. And that's just the effect we wanted to go to. Over here we have our furnace and silver units. All our units in the kitchen is sil are silver, so we've got a silver fridge refrigerator, um, microwave, cooker and washing machine. These smart wall sockets are very handy as not only can you plug in conventional plugs, but you can also plug USB cables which is very convenient for charging your phone. Our cutlery tray is fit to measure and we got it from our kitchen provider. This ensures that this fit is snug within the drawer which prevents sliding. Also, all our unit doors are fitted with a built-in soft close mechanism, preventing loud bangs when closed. These drawers come in various sizes, enabling the storage of small or large kitchen appliances, such as pots and pans or even baking trays. The spice rack is a fundamental part of our kitchen and it was very important that it be beside the cooker for easy access. Corey and I do take pride in cooking 
and enjoy making our food very flavoursome coming from an African background. This also encourages us to grow our spice collection. So progressing on, we've got our, again, top, top unit and this one has a, a blurred glass effect. We weren't in two minds between using clear glass and frosted glass. In the end, we went for frosted glass. Um, and of course, this is where we put all our, our plates, our dining ware and our glasses. This unit here, nothing specifically goes in here. However, this actually masks the boiler. So it's very nice, very handy to just keep closed and not, you know, visible to the naked eye. So it looks really cute, really pretty and just neat. Under here, we have more, more um, units. So here we just keep all our, you know, washing up liquids and all our sort of housing, cleaning, things go there. So this is our fridge freezer and I love this fridge freezer. We got this when we first moved into the house so it's been doing a great job for us so far. Um, it's Beko branded in case you want to know. And there's a key feature that I really, really love about this fridge freezer and that is the Neo Frost feature. So it says it right at the back, if I just skip over. Right here it says Neo Frost and what that basically means is that obviously you put foods in here, you put foods that may be opened at times and it just means that the smell, the odour from the food doesn't actually affect the fridge freezer. So whenever you open the fridge freezer up, it smells fresh. So you don't get any smell of fish, you don't get any smell of cheese, it's completely fresh because the Neo Frost feature sucks in all that odour and brings out fresh air. So this is the freezer compartment and this is the fridge compartment and over here you can obviously get yourself some cold water if you do want like. Corey actually fought for this feature and actually designed it because of course when you're in the kitchen cooking at times you want to sit down rest your legs or you want to just accompany the person who's cooking and it's coming so so handy because if I'm cooking Corey can just keep me company and vice versa so over here we also tend to have you know breakfast or snacks if we're just having like a fruit or something light we can just eat it here rather than going all the way to the dining room so I really really love this feature these chairs we got from Amazon I believe or eBay I'm not sure but again it's white and it's silver and it just goes with the theme of everything else we've got some plants our babies we are looking to get some shells for them but of course with a kitchen you don't need to rush things and we know that in time we will get it all done but for now they're gonna stay there until we get the sh get around to the shelves so I'll just show you a, a few more key features of the kitchen in case you miss these things so over here we've got some more artwork so if you've picked up on this we've got sort of vegetables this, these are artichokes and these are pineapples and on the other side we've got like a sweet sweeter dessert theme ice cream and macaroons i love macaroons <laughs> so that is just like a contrast so you come in and you see sweet stuff and then on the other side you see more you know vegetables and, and a serious side and it's sort of like contrast between myself and corey who's sweet and who's a bit more serious and other than that we've got some more little characters more little features that just makes the kitchen our kitchen because within the kitchen we don't have you know pictures of us or anything like that but we did want to get some fridge magnets where we went to Cancun as you can see on the blog if you haven't checked it out over here and when we went to Maldives we don't have a blog for Maldives but that's beyond the point and of course some other feet pictures of when we went to a friend's wedding and I just think it's quite nice to put a little bit of character into your kitchen space so guys this is our kitchen tour thank you for watching and we hope you stay tuned for much much more if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe <laughs>